Hi, everybody. This is Zach Hogan, Discman3001 here. And uh, Happy New Year, Happy 2023. Let's make this the best year going forward yet. Um, I'd like to start off and uh, show an updated version of my Stop at Tom Connors vinyl collection. Let's get into it. This is the Northland Zone Tom Connors, which was pressed on the Rebel label, 1967, I believe. That The recording on this was lost. We'll get into that in a minute. This is the On Tragedy Trail with Tom Connors, Rebel label. Last thing ever put out on Rebel. This is the Northland Zone. The Northland Zone, see how they misspelled it? Tom Connors um, put out on Boot Label with a completely different recording. Now, you'll see that the back image here, though, was also on the back of the original. Again, different recording. They allegedly lost the tapes. I'm not sure if I believe that, but that's what they say. Okay, now, this is on Tragedy Trail with Stomp and Tom Connors, the re-recorded version. Much easier to find than the Rebels, for sure. Okay. Bud the Spud, um, which is playing on the record player now, um, on boot label. I don't get a stupid copyright notice. Now, I'm not doing the boots in any particular order. I'm just going by, you know, I did my best, guys. Sorry, but this is the North Atlantic Squadron boot label. I'm showing all the 70s stuff net right now. This is Love and Laughter, which later became the Moon Man movie. Okay, this one became a film, Across This Land with Stomp and Tom Connors. Two LP set. I like this painting on the back. Merry Christmas, everybody. This is actually on the Capitol. I do not have the boot label for our release of this. It says Christmas album. The original Dominion release, I don't have even the boot copy, but this is the original artwork and album for Big Joe Moffaro. Okay, bringing them back. This was part of a box set called 60 Old Time Favorites. Pistol Pack and Mama, same thing. Part of the box set that's on Cinda Budget label. This is Muck Tuck Annie. <laughs> this is some goofy artwork, guys. Look. Okay. This is on the boot label. To it and added on the boot label. Still in the shrink. Some of the, I think a few of them are. Best of Stomp and Tom Connors. This again is on Dominion. This is after the three first albums were put out. And as you can see, Bud the Spud had slightly different um, cover art there as well. Stomp and Tom and the Hockey Song. This is the 2018 Olay re-release. And this is the original boot release of Stomp and Tom and the Hockey Song. 1973, I believe. The unpopular Stomp and Tom on uh, boot label. My Stomp and Grounds. Boot label. And this is uh, Stomp and Tom Connors Live at the Horseshoe Tavern on um, Ole Anthem 2018 re release. This is actually on, um, I, I think it's yellow vinyl. Yeah, it's yellow. Stomp and Tom Connors Live at the Horseshoe Tavern original Dominion release. Again, I don't have the proof of this one. Stomp and Tom Connors Live at the Gumboot Claw Grew. This is the last thing he put out before his retirement in the 70s, before his comeback in the 80s. This was released during retirement. This is the KTEL Souvenirs. A lot of pictures of Tom on the back here. Okay, let's keep going. Stomp and Tom is back to assist Canadian talent. This is him coming out of retirement, which was at first to um, assist other Canadian artists. And actually, another thing you find on ACT, another artist called Mark LaForme, if you look him up. But anyway, let's keep going. It's on Capitol Label. This is Fiddle and Song, the first album. Like, this was um, with other artists. This is his first um, album that he put out. I'm trying not to get the glare in the photo. Sorry about that, guys. 
These are both actually Tom. It's a mirror image. But this is the first thing album that he put out where he was pretty much just doing it. Um, and he plays fiddle on this album, which and he doesn't do on a lot of records. Okay, this is a compilation from 1990, I think in part to promote the 80 City Comeback Tour he did in 1990. This is called A Proud Canadian. I'm not sure I don't get these too messed up. Okay, let's keep going. 1991 capital release of Stomp and Tom Phenomenon. As far as I know, it's the only time it was ever pressed. The Ballad of Stomp and Tom, 2008 release, has new versions of classics such as the Olympic song and the hockey song on there. And a song I really like called My British Columbian Home. Oh, it is. Okay, um, this is Stomp and Tom 2017 um, reissue, or not reissue, 2017 compilation by Ole Records, who did those 2018 things I showed. Lastly, we have, last but not least, Stomp and Tom from the Vault Collection, Let's Smile Again, it's a volume four. Um, it's on a marble vinyl, marble gray, smoky kind of color. And then 45s, we have tribute to Wilf Carter. And on the side B is Song of the Irish Moss. And again, guys, I'm sorry about the glare, but this, it is what it is, guys. Yeah, I'll fix that later. I don't want to bore you guys with this type, type of stuff. The Snowmobile Song single, this one's kind of unusual because it's got Snowmobile Song on one side. But on the other side, it's not a Stomp and Tom song. It's, um... After the Ski Stomp. Howard Cable in the Highway 11. Alright, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I, uh, hope to do more videos soon. Sorry I've been away well. It's just busy, busy times. Thanks for watching.